Hey guys, it's Matt and Exile, and today's story is, of course, Roe vs. Sway, and the big news that came out today is the Biden administration is trying to find ways to get around the ruling, such as using federal lands to put abortion clinics on, and also using federal vouchers to give to people that need to have an abortion. Now, the big problem here is, is it is law that you cannot use federal funds to pay for abortions or to fund abortion. If you use federal lands, you're using federal tax dollars to fund abortion. The same with using a voucher. You're using people's tax dollars to do so. That's a problem. They can't do that by law. But I think they might actually ignore it and do it anyway. Now, the other idea that came out today, and I just heard it recently, is 20 Congress uh, people and I believe two Congress women, women have come out and told the Biden administration they need to declare a health emergency. If they declare a health emergency, then they can use executive powers to enact Roe versus Sway nationwide. That's the idea of it. Uh, that doesn't mean that executive order can't be challenged by the Supreme Court, which it could be. And obviously the Supreme Court will say, hey, you can't do that. And I hear th this idea, my first thought was like, okay, they're calling us fascist, and yet you want to use executive power in order to overrule a court. That's fascism. But anyway, I got two videos for you. One is from Xavier Becerra, the uh, HHS secretary of the Biden administration, and he is talking about what they're going to do about Roe versus Sway, and also for Kamala Harris and her thought of what they're going to do about Roe versus Sway. What are you doing concretely in response to the court's decision to try to help women? Well, we're working with uh, centers like Planned Parenthood, so we are uh, restoring funding for Title X uh, family planning services. We are working with uh, uh, supporters on the ground to make sure that we are providing services to women where we can. Uh, we are looking into everything, including assisting in transportation, something that HHS doesn't typically do. Can you do that legally? Uh, talk to me later. Uh, we're I mean, that's do, a big question, right? I, I always tell my team at HHS, uh, if you've done your homework, then we have no right to do mild. And so we're going to be aggressive and go all the way. And I, I would tell you if... Uh, you're recording, so I won't tell you. So, uh, this is all on the record, yeah. Mr. Secretary. We are looking at every option, and among those is transportation. What, say that again? We are looking at every option, and among those is transportation. Transporting women to other states. And what about the idea of financial resources? Mm -hmm. Some form of voucher for travel, child care services, other forms of support for people, yeah. for women seeking abortions, in states where it's not legal, right. but they just don't have the means to go elsewhere. I think you're asking a, a very important point, making a very important point, which is what are the details that are going to go into ensuring that women have the ability to actually uh, travel um, without impairment. And we know that on this issue, women who have access to resources will probably be far less impacted by this decision than women who don't have resources. So this is something that we are looking at. Alright guys, that's the end of the video, and the only video I'm going to respond to is Xavier uh, Becerra, and I don't know if you notice, he seemed to be really nervous about the words he is saying there, because what he's implying there is completely illegal. That's the reason he's nervous about it, because he knows they cannot get away with that, using federal taxpayer dollars in order to fund abortion. He knows that ain't going to happen. The fact is, he's given these people that believe in abortion false ho a false hopium there. That's what that is. False hopium. He's not telling them the truth. And so, the idea that they're going to use federal tax to pay dollars is not going to happen. There's no way it can happen. Unless, somehow, they convince 10 Republicans to go along with them in on this and actually fund this. I don't see it happening unless they completely bypass the court and uh, Congress and Senate and decide to go on their own and uh, the uh, executive branch does what they want, which might happen. All right, guys, all this is just my opinion, and I want to leave you with one last thing. 
And that is, this is just the beginning of this fight. We have won one battle, and now the battle has changed and went into 50 different fronts in 50 different states in order to end abortion altogether. But guys, this is a fight I think we can win. It's a fight we must win. And with that said, I'm going to have to end the video. I hope you all enjoy. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace.